Today I'm going to compare four different small diaphragm condenser microphones for voiceover. Three of them are quite affordable. There's the Rode NT5, the Octava MK012-01 then one of my favorite microphones, the Shep's Cardioid CCM4, and another one, I display the correct name on the screen now because I can't read it because of the shock mount. So why do I recommend always small diaphragm condenser microphones for voiceover? Because I'm assuming you like your voice. And for that reason, you would like to have a microphone that records your voice as it is without adding anything or taking away anything. And that's the core competence of small diaphragm condenser microphones. I know, large diaphragm microphones, they look great, they have a certain impression on customers, but are they necessarily better? I don't think so. And better means, are they more neutral, more transparent to our voice? So let's focus for a moment on the frequency range between 3 and 7 kilohertz. That may vary a little bit, but that's the frequency range for clarity. If there's too much, the voice sounds a bit harsh. If there's too less, it sounds a bit muffling or dump. The second range is the bass, the bass notes of our voice. My deepest frequency is around 80 hertz. That may vary from human being to human being. Women tend to have um, the lowest frequency around 140 to 160 hertz. If the bass range of a voice is clear and strong, that, that feels good. We, we like to hear that kind of voices. And between the bass range and the, I call it clarity range, there's the mid range. And especially the low mids where we tend to describe as the warmth of a voice. And it's very important that there's not too much, not too less. It's, it's quite obvious. So since I switched between the different microphones the whole time, I think you have a clear impression which microphone you like the best. Please write that in the comment section and tell us also why. For today, thanks for watching. See you next time.